Prophecy is a gift um, and to Catholics. Uh, it's not, and to most Christians, I guess, it's not this telling the future thing. Um, that's what we tend to think of it in common parlance. A prophet is someone who can see the future. And for Jewish people, for Christians, um, prophecy is to be able to see the present as it is, to see it clearly and to deal with the response that comes from that. So in the, the reading from Ezekiel today, for instance, um, I'm going to, the Lord set me on my feet. <laughs> in other words, the Lord got me ready to go uh, uh, where he needed me to go and to, to say what needed to be said, um, but to be clear that this would be an obstinate people, a people who wouldn't listen. And then the, the gospel reading uh, with the famous quote uh, uh, about a prophet um, not being uh, welcome in his own house. You know, uh, this is um, a tough time in our country, in our continent in North America. Um, we're dealing with racism, especially as it affects black and indigenous people and other people of color, BIPOC, uh, black indigenous people of color. Um, the racism thing in America has its history and its present. Um, the abuse of indigenous people and the elimination of their cultures, both in the United States and in Canada and in Mexico and in Central America and in South America, um, has a long history wedded to colonization. And the most recent thing that's come up, a uh, terrible, um, not a tragedy. That's the wrong word. Um, I, I don't have the word. But um, the recent discovery of mass unmarked graves of indigenous children who were ripped from their homes and sent to indigenous schools, um, residential schools. And when they died, they would just bury them and not tell their parents. Um, so there's this, this move for truth about what happened there. And, um, in Canada, the Catholic Church was the major provider of these services. Um, and the services were there to civilize people, to eliminate their language, eliminate their culture, eliminate their dress, and make them white. Um, and that's one of the problems when you equate Catholic with white. Uh, it's something uh, North Americans and Europeans do without even knowing um, it's part of the white privilege in our church. No, it's not, not a privilege like you get to do something. It's, it's the privilege of not even uh, alluding to the fact that you operate, I operate as if white culture was the center of things and that, that Catholic is a, a white religion that welcomes other people instead of a universal religion instead of a faith in jesus christ who came to save all that finds itself embedded in various cultures um, it's something we have to continue to fight against um, it's it requires prophecy constantly to look critically at what's going on in the present and what has gone on in the past. That's why this is big debate over critical race theory, which is to look at laws and even, even the whole march of, of uh, the civil rights movement of how even its movement, even in, in uh, expanding freedom, uh, does that in a way that keeps benefiting the status quo. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wandering all over the place, but the indigenous stories that are coming out have really got me upset. And so I, I encourage everyone, uh, don't be afraid to look at reality really critically and speak about it. You're gonna meet hard-headed people 
who think you're, you're throwing the baby out with the bathwater and they'll come up with all these reasons why you shouldn't do it. Do it. Um, expand the gospel eye on things, okay? If you don't if you don't like the word critical race theory, call it critical gospel theory and look at the reality that's in front of you and look at the history and how we got here and ask yourself, is the next decision you make or your institution makes really based in keeping you at the center? Is it still based in an old colonialist model that says we, white people, we will welcome other people in as if we owned what this was? You won't be welcome in your own house, probably. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.